Hello guys to this channel. Today we are going to talk about cars. We all know that the car we use today comprises of ice engine, which runs on gasoline or diesel. But as the time passes, the demand of the petroleum product also increases, which leads to a scarcity. So we need some alternatives like electric vehicles. And the topmost uh, vehicle company which provides the great cars are the Tesla Motors. We all do know about the Tesla Motor and currently they launch Tesla Roadster. But the driving mechanism which drives the electric cars are the induction motor. But today we are going to talk about and know about everything about the working and the components of the induction motor. Hello guys, my name is Jay. You are watching Mac Hacks. Let's begin. Guys, if you want to know more about the how Tesla car works or you want to know about the latest Tesla Roadster 2.0, the quickest car in the world, you can check out my other videos. The link are in the description box. So please don't forget to check and do reply how you like that video. Now coming back to the electric cars, it's not a secret that uses a battery pack as a power source. The battery pack consists of small lithium and cylindrical batteries arranged in a fixed matrix of predetermined order, which is connected to an inverter, which is then connected to the main driving part of the vehicle, that is the induction motor. And that is the topic of this video, that how does induction motor works and what are the components of the induction motor. Now first talking about the component of the induction motor, there are two basic components. First is the stator and second is the rotor. As the name suggests, the stator is a, the stator is a stationary component and the rotor is a rotating component. Now first talking about its inventor, it's Nikola Tesla, the genius person has invented this induction motor which revolutionized whole technology. Now talking about its construction details of the motor, as you can see there is a sectional view of the induction motor starting from the left the drive end which delivers the power from the rotor to the axle of the car behind which the assembly of the stator and rotor exists followed by a cooling fan which act as a heat dissipator. Now coming to the exploded part of it from the extreme left you can see the cooling fan covered in a cast iron casing followed by the bearing for upholding purpose, followed by the stator casing and the stator and a generally used aluminium cast rotor which delivers power to the drive end which delivers the output to the axle. Now coming to the stator of the casing, the stator consists of the iron or steel casing which provides the rigidity to the stator. Inside the stator there comes the laminated cores these are there for a crucial and essential purpose and these laminated core are not solid cylindrical structure but these are disc like structure which are arranged in a stack order. These are not in a solid part these are arranged in a stack manner and they all distribute over whole surface of the stator. Now we will understand in more detail about the stator and the further more component of it. As you can observe that the cores are generally not smooth. They have grooves throughout their length and these grooves serve a special purpose. Remember I told you about that in earlier part of the video. Now we need some conductor coil to pass through the electricity into the motor and these windings of the conductor done through these grooves. After the winding is done the stator part do look like this. Looking more closely you can observe properly how these winding look like. In general three phase are used in the induction motor in the electric cars. The three phase windings are used. Now applying the alternating current through these conductor. An interesting thing happens. This conductor produces a rotating magnetic field which will rotate the rotor. But how? We will understand in the later part. Now simplifying the things, you can't understand that what, that what exactly happens with these type of coil arrangement. Now simplifying the things to you, let's take there are three coils in very simple manner as you have studied in your physics books. A wire carrying current produces a magnetic field around it. 
Now, for this special arrangement, the magnetic field produces three-phase AC current. Two more instances are shown in the following figure. It is clear that the magnetic field just takes a different orientation, but its magnitude remains same. Now, putting a conductor into that rotating magnetic field, it will experience a force according to the Fleming left hand rule. That means a current is passing through a conductor which is in a rotating magnetic field and that rotating magnetic field will create a force that will make the rotor rotate. You will see in the simplified manner how the rotation of the coil does happen. Now combine this, now taking this to the another level of the recent induction motor development, you will see a stator or sorry, the rotor coil in this following manner which is a squirrel cage rotor. Nowadays the rotor is like a cage having the rotor coils and the rotor also have disc like lamination arranged in a stack manner throughout the body of the rotor to decrease or minimize the eddy current losses as much as possible. And after the arrangement the rotor do look like it through which the rotating magnetic field passes and the rotor being inside the stator cuts those magnetic field lines and the force is experienced by the rotor coil which moves the rotor in a rotational motion. Now guys, the induction motor works on two fundamental principles. The first is the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which states that whenever there is a change in magnetic flux of the coil, an EMF is induced in it. And the second law is the Lenz's law, which states that a current is produced in the conductor which flows in the direction which opposes its cause. Along with one more rule, that is Fleming left hand rule, which describes the motion of the rotor, which is a rotational motion. Now in conclusion, understanding the whole process, whenever we place the conductor inside a rotating magnetic field, a current flows through it which makes the coil rotate according to the Fleming rule. This coil is a part of the rotor shaft which also rotate along with it and if we use more than one coil we are using here, that is three coil, the mover has several armature which provide more uniform torque which is very very essential for the electric car to run and accelerate quickly. So the induction motor and the whole stator rotor assembly you understood in the video comprises inside it. This induction motor is then mounted over the rear axle of the electric cars for imparting the driving power to these futuristic machines. Well guys, that's all. I hope you got a technical overview about the working of induction motor and thanks for watching. If you have any suggestion or query, do post it in the comments below and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel and other videos, consider subscribing and if you want, share with your friends. This is Macax over and out. Hope you all have a great day.